Hill with your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us. We begin with news of 22 Cuban migrants arriving in Kim and Brack after the group's makeshift vessel ran aground on the reef in the Point of Sands area of Little Cayman on Tuesday evening. They are presently being housed in a government home on Kim and Brack awaiting transfer here to Grand Cayman. The migrant group had been approached while conducting repairs in the Little Cayman area on Wednesday morning but said at the time they were expecting to depart shortly. Officials comment that 11 of the 22 migrants have landed in the Cayman Islands before. The Immigration Department is working to bring the migrants to Grand Cayman within the next day or two. They were rescued by a team that included police officers at stationed on Little Cayman. Well, speaking of rescue, officers from the UK Maritime and Coast Guard Agency have arrived in the Cayman Islands to begin a review of search and rescue capability. Phil Bostock, National Maritime Operations Commander, and Naomi Davies, MCA International Projects Coordinator, will be here for two weeks. They will be working with a number of government agencies, including the RCIPS, the Fire Service, and Customs and Immigration Departments, to look at ways to enhance operations to ensure the safe and efficient management of incidents and resources. The MCA officers will also be holding focus group meetings with local boat captains, industry representatives, and other interested parties in both Grand Cayman and Kim and Brack. The review will produce a strategy giving clear advice on appropriate policies, procedures, staffing, training, and equipment to enhance search and rescue capability in a cost-effective and appropriate way. The project was proposed by the Governor's Office working with the Ministry of Home Affairs and is being funded under the UK's Conflict, Security, and Stability Fund. Well, it's the season of cheer and joy, and the University College of the Cayman Islands is doing its part this holiday season. Again, the concert takes place this Saturday, December 10th at 7 p.m. at Kimana Bay. It is free to the public. Everyone is encouraged to attend the concert to kick off the holiday season. Finally, the Cayman Islands Fire Service says knowing how to react when a fire starts is the key to surviving any blaze. Divisional Officers Whitney Tatum with the Little, Ki Little Cayman and Kim and Brack Fire Division Notes recently, the quick actions of a staff member at the Kim and Brack Dental Clinic saved the building and employees from potential disaster. Staff members were using a torch to make dentures in one of the dental offices when an employee accidentally overturned a bottle of alcohol, which caused the fire to start. But thanks to the fact that Health Services Authority staff members in Kim and Brack receive yearly training from the fire division on how to properly use a fire extinguisher, the Kim and Islands Fire uh, Service uh, is reminding the public that they're willing now to train persons or companies on how to properly use a fire extinguisher. Well, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining me. Wishing you a wonderful and safe evening and, of course, a wonderful night. And hopefully see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.